morning ladies and gentlemen on the behalf of Indian Red Cross Society and St. John Ambulance India I have the privilege to take you through the inaugural session of the annual general meeting of these two leading humanitarian organizations in the country. The Indian Red Cross Society through their officials and volunteers inspire encourage and initiate at all times all forms of humanitarian activities so that the human sufferings be minimized, alleviated and even prevented and thus contribute to create a more congenial climate for peace. It is our privilege to welcome Sri Pranam Mukherjee, Honorable President of India and President of both Indian Red Cross Society and St. John Ambulance India in the AGM. I now request Dr. S. P. Agarwal, Secretary General of Indian Red Cross Society and St. John Ambulance India, and also Commissioner in Chief of St. John Ambulance Brigade, to deliver the welcome address. Respected Shri Pranam Mukherjee, Honorable President of India and President of both Indian Red Cross Society and St. John Ambulance India, Shri Gulam Nabi Azad, Honorable Chairman, Indian Red Cross Society and St. John Ambulance, and Minister of Health and Family Welfare, Government of India. Honorable Governors, Vice Chairman of Indian Red Cross Society, Shri Dipendra Huda, Vice Chairperson of St. John, Dr. Kamla Gidwani, members of the Managing Body and National Council of the two organizations, heads of regional delegations of International Federation and ICRC, invited representatives of partner organizations, World Health Organization, national societies, awardees, officials of the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, delegates, guests, observers, ladies and gentlemen. At the outset, I welcome you all present here today and thank the Honorable President for agreeing to preside over the ceremonial session of our annual general meeting. Sir, your generous offer to host this event at Rashtrapati Bhavan indeed highlights your keen interest in the humanitarian work of both our organizations. Thanks to your far-sightedness and support we are now able to help more vulnerable people across the country. We welcome Shri Gulam Nabi Azad, Honorable Chairman and Minister for Health and Family Welfare Government of India amongst us. Sir, your unstinted support and continuous guidance helped help to raise the profile of Indian Red Cross Society and St. John Ambulance, not only in India, but also across the world. Remarkable achievements in the health sector under your dynamic leadership in the recent years have also helped IRCS to be nominated as chair of the Sustainable Development and Health Advisory Body of the International Federation, which is guiding the work of 187 national societies across the world. In addition to your vast contribution in the health sector, sir, we are especially grateful to you for your keen interest in voluntary blood donations. Encouraged by this, Indian Red Cross Society through 166 Red Cross blood banks in India including the model blood bank at the national headquarters, is catering to nearly 10% of the total blood requirements in India. It is mainly through voluntary, non-remunerated, repeated blood donations from healthy donors. Thank you for your support and encouragement. We also welcome the honorable governors who head their respective state and union territory branches of these two organizations. Your guidance and support is crucial and is immensely appreciated for enhancing our humanitarian activities. A special welcome to those who are going to receive awards today. This recognition to you will enthuse many more volunteers to undertake similar activities. And also those who have traveled from far and wide from different branches and centers, especially the large number of volunteers I see in the audience, are warmly welcome for this historic event. With these words, while welcoming you, all of you once again, Indian Red Cross and St. John Ambulance commit themselves to do more to do better and to reach further for the benefit of vulnerable people both at home and abroad under the visionary guidance and leadership of our Honorable President. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Agarwal. We now welcome the Honorable President of India with a floral bouquet. Janam Gulam Nabi Azad, Honorable Chairman of Indian Red Cross Society and St. John Ambulance India and Honorable Minister of Health and Family Welfare, Government of India. We welcome you, sir, with a floral bouquet. Now, I invite Honorable Minister of Health and Family Welfare, Government of India, Janab Gulam Nabi Azad, to deliver his address. Shri Pranam Kumar Mukherjee Ji, Honorable President of India and President of Indian Red Cross Society and St. John's 
ambulance india honorable governor of punjab and administrator of union territory of chandigarh shri shivraj patil honorable governor of haryana shri jagnath pahadia ji madam margaret talwa ji honorable governor of rajasthan janab shekhar dad sahab honorable governor of chatisgarh shri dipinder singh hudda vice chairman of indian red cross society dr kamla gidwani vice chairperson of saint john ambulance dr sp agarwal secretary general indian red cross society mr azmatullah head of the regional delegations of the international federation of red cross and red crescent societies miss mary head of the regional delegations of the international committee of the red cross a representative of the who honorable members of the managing body of the national council of two organizations distinguished guest health secretary and i us secretary senior officers of ministries representatives of the partner organizations and national societies dear awardees observers distinguished guests ladies and gentlemen it gives me immense pleasure to join you here today for the ceremonial session of the annual general meeting of both the indian red cross society and st john's ambulance india at the outset on my and on behalf of millions of members and volunteers of both indian red cross society and st john's ambulance i would like to thank honorable president of india for taking time out from his very busy schedule and agreeing to preside over this ceremonial session sir we are privileged to have a visionary like yourself as head of the family and are honored that you are hosting the ceremonial session of the annual general meeting of the two organizations here at rashtrapati bhavan today sir your presence is a source of inspiration and encouragement to all of us and to the countless volunteers who are selflessly serving their communities ladies and gentlemen i congratulate all the branches centers and individuals who are being honored today ladies and gentlemen i would now turn to important work being done by st john's ambulance india in march 1904 in order to st john's organize the silver challenge shield railway competitions in jabalpur and since then since 1904 st john's ambulance has been active in the country it now trains about 6 to 7 hundred thousand people in first aid every year and the brigade wing runs ambulance services in many places throughout the country saving precious lives the activities of st john's ambulance india are progressing as well with 2478 brigade divisions consisting of thousands of trained volunteers st john ambulances strimedy intervention in times of accident religious gatherings and rallies are fine examples of selfless services in saving precious human lives in this regard i am happy to note that this common first aid manual for st john's ambulances and indian red cross has been updated with the latest information it is heartening to see the two organization embrace modern information and communication methods to ensure that they remain at the forefront of the emergency medical assistance throughout our communities ladies and gentlemen before i conclude i would like to once again thank our honorable president of india 
for his firm and valuable support to both these organizations. Many of you may not be aware that our president himself has been a blood donor and a great force in motivating others in, to, donate blood, to donate blood voluntarily. We are indeed fortunate to have him leading and guiding the Indian Red Cross and St. John's Ambulance. I once again thank him. I also thank honorable governors and distinguished guests who have participated in this function. And I would also like to congratulate once again wholeheartedly all the branches and volunteers for the tremendous work being done each and every day to assist those who are in need. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir, for your address on this August occasion. Now I would like to request the Honorable President of India and President of both Indian Red Cross Society and St. John Ambulance India, Sri Prana Mukherjee, to kindly present the awards in recognition of the committed services of the volunteers, branches, and centers of both of these humanitarian organizations. We'll start with Indian Red Cross gold medal for the year 2010 and 11. It goes to Dr. Ram Prakash Sharma, Secretary, Gwalior District Branch, Madhya Pradesh. Professor Dr. M. Verley, former consultant in medicine, Dr. Ram Manoholoya Hospital and physician to the President of India. <laughs> For the year 2011 and 12, it goes to Dr. Woody P. Krishna, member, managing and finance committees, Karnataka. Sri R. Mishra, Honorary Secretary, Purba Mednipur District Branch, West Bengal. and membership running shield. The fundraising and the membership running shield for the year 2010 and 11 and 11 and 12 goes to Odisha State Branch. For the Union Territory Branches, Dada Nagar Haveli receives the first prize for the year 2010 and 11 and for the 11 and 12, first place goes to Chandigarh. Second place for the state branch fundraising and membership running shield for both the year 2010 and 11 and 2011 and 12 goes to Andhra Pradesh state branch. Now we move on to the blood donation running shields, highest number of voluntary blood donors. This running shield awarded to the for the highest number of voluntary blood donors and for both the year 2010 and 11 and 11 and 12, Odisha State Branch receives the award. <laughs> Maximum blood collection with a -vis population. For both the year 2010 and 11 and 11 and 12, the State Branch awarded is Haryana State Branch. <laughs> In the category of Union Territory Branches, Dadar Nagar Haveli Union Territory Branch receives the award for both the year 2010 and 11, 11 and 12.
now the awards of st john ambulance india the rajkumari amrit kaur gold medal for the year 2010 and 11 is presented to shri mahima singh divisional commander bhai ghana st john ambulance division number no. 1 st john ambulance brigade drcs patiala Rajkumari Amrit Kaur gold medal for the year 2011 and 12 goes to Dr Angad Singh he's a cops commander Kanpur division Uttar Pradesh <laughs> The Jeev Raksha medal for the year 2010 and 11 is presented to Shrimati Mangla Lakshmi Mehboob Nagar Andhra Pradesh Shri V Manohar Reddy will receive the award on her behalf and the same award for the year 2011 and 12 goes to shri g narayan st john ambulance brigade division number no. 20 southern railway district madras cop <laughs> the st john gold medal for the year 2010 and 11 is awarded to shri v shanmugam Corps officer St John Ambulance Brigade Division number no. 20 Southern Railway District And for the year 2011 and 12 it goes to Dr Narayan M Samant Honorary General Secretary Karnataka State Center The St John Ambulance Membership Shield goes to the brigade which has enrolled the maximum number of members of any state railway union territory or association center for the year 2010 and 11 the shield goes to Punjab State Center <laughs> And the shield for the year 2011 and 12 it goes to West Bengal State Center the training shield it's presented to the state railway union territory or association center which imparts the maximum number of training sessions in a single year for both the year that is 2010 and 11 and 11 and 12 the shield is presented to haryana state center I now request Honorable President of India, Shri Pranam Mukherjee, to please share your words of wisdom. Respected Rashtrapati Ji. Sir Gulam Nabi Azad, Minister for Health and Family Welfare, Chairman of Indian Red Cross Society, and Saint John Ambulance India, Governor of Punjab, Sri Shivraj Patil Ji, Governor of Haryana, Sri Jagannath Pahadia Ji, Governor of Rajasthan. मार्गारेट अलभाजी गवर्नर ऑफ छत्तीसगढ़ श्री शेखर दत्त जी श्री दीपेंदर सिंह हुदा एम पी एंड वाइस चेयरमैन इंडियन रेड क्रॉस सोसाइटी डॉक्टर कमला गिडवाई वाइस चेयरमैन सेंट जॉन एम्बुलेंस इंडिया डॉक्टर एस पी अग्रवाल सेक्रेटरी जनरल इंडियन रेड क्रॉस सोसाइटी एंड सेंट जॉन एम्बुलेंस इंडिया श्री अजमुल्ला हेड साउथ एशिया रिजनल डेलीगेशन ऑफ द इंटरनेशनल फेडरेशन ऑफ रेड क्रॉस एंड रेड क्रेसेंट सोसाइटीज मिस मेरी वर्नीज हेड ऑफ द ऑफिस इंटरनेशनल कमिटी ऑफ रेड क्रॉस मेम्बर्स ऑफ द मैनेजिंग बॉडी एंड नेशनल काउंसिल ऑफ द टू ऑर्गेनाइजेशन रिप्रेजेंटेटिव ऑफ द पार्टनर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन partner national societies awardees guests ladies and gentlemen i am indeed happy to participate in the ceremonial session of the annual general meeting of indian red cross society and saint john ambulance india i extend a warm welcome 
to all the volunteers of these organizations, many of whom have come from far to attend this important event. Local volunteers who understand the local conditions better can deal with the disasters in the locality more effectively. It is gratifying to note that the Indian Red Cross Society is developing local community members to respond to such challenges. I urge upon society to encourage widening the network of young people as the first medical respondent, responders. I am told that newly renovated warehouses have enabled the Indian Red Cross Society to deal with the disaster responses with greater efficacy. It is well placed to partner with the government authorities to quickly provide aid and relief. The collaborative efforts of the society with other similar organizations also have the potential for more efficient and effective handling of disaster situations. Ladies and gentlemen, economic prosperity of our country is manifested in the increasing purchasing power of the people. The number of cars on the Indian roads has multiplied during the last four to five decades. This has unfortunately resulted in a substantial increase in the number of the road accidents. In 1970, the number of road accidents per one lakh population was 21.2. This has risen by almost two times to 41.1 in 2011. Number of deaths due to the accidents in India in 2009 at 10.8 uh, per 1 lakh population is far higher than in countries like Japan and UK where it is less than 5 per 1 lakh population. This calls for proactive program to ensure immediate medical assistance during the road accidents so as to minimize the loss of life. The success of any organization lies in the development of its skilled manpower. I am told that Indian Red Cross Society has taken steps for capacity building and skill development. Society's postgraduate diploma courses in disaster preparedness and rehabilitation run in collaboration with Guru Gobind Singh Indraprastha University is a step in the correct